Sometimes, homelessness is the result of addiction and substance abuse. Life on the street becomes a cycle of getting high, sleeping rough, drying out, accessing support services, getting paid, and then using again. The hardest thing, for some, is the loss of self-esteem and a sense that the world is passing you by. Music means something to me when I'm doing it for a cause. And what better way to do it than to express it, um, my experience of homelessness through music. In my life there's been so much pain, it's been staring me apart. Depression's been a culprit, I need hope and a brand new start. Drugs were once a friend of mine, helped to ease the pain. Reality was a foreigner, I said out to destroy my brain. My homelessness happened because of my drug addiction. I was addicted to speed and then it became ice. So I was more into uppers. It made me feel, it made me feel a part of society for a long time in my life. And I think it goes back to my parents splitting up. I was very close to mum and I was very much like my mum, very sensitive to life and I didn't know how to cope. So I used drugs and around about 97, I really did fall off the deep end. I winded up, I wound up in the cross um, after a massive binge and I walk in, walked in and spoke to the police and um, they took it from there. So I ended up basically going into emergency accommodation. And after a couple of months there, I, I actually started getting used to the idea of um, battling on in life. And, and um, I came to find it quite, quite easy to, to take the next step, which was actually homelessness. So I ended up in parks. Um, and why I did that was my addiction was too strong. So I'd spend most of my funds that I had on, on my speed addiction and then um, went and ate at the emergency accommodation shelters to get me by until I got paid again. So it was a really heavy rut. You know, you, you live seven days, virtually you, you live three days high as a kite and then the other four you were sobering up and ending up straight again until you got paid or if it was fortnightly it would be the same thing. So it was very bingy and um, yeah, I got used to living on the streets. The last year has been a year of growth. A year of, um, as you're getting older, as you get older, you're either going to get worse or you're going to get better. And I, I believe I'm getting better. Um, so the last year I was able to buy a car and sleep in that. It was nothing fancy. That last year of sleeping in the car was quite, you know, I was getting to the point where really I, I am overall being on the streets and sleeping in front of, you know, it just felt right for me to come off the streets. So when Nimai interviewed me and going through the steps that I took, you know, it, if we, we reached the place and now I'm staying in a really nice place. You know, some mornings I'll wake up and go, wow, I'm in a place. You know, so it, it's, a, it's been great. It's been really, really good. But every now and again, I get that, wow, I'm in a place. The hardest thing for me was watching the world go by. You're sort of caught in the middle. You, you're betwixt, betwixt them between you nowhere. But you, you, you're alive, you're a person, you're functioning. And, and um, you know, it's watching people come past, going to and from work. I think a lot of homeless people, people don't understand. A lot of us would like to be normal, would like to feel normal, would like to be going to and from work, being, would like to be responsible, responsible, but sometimes it just doesn't. You know, and, and I, I think the thing that the hardest thing for me was watching everyone go about their life coping. I think with some of us on the street are very sensitive types. You either, well, there's only one way. You're either gonna stay in there or you run, and most of us run. Does somebody love me? Does somebody care?